Okay. Oh, I just yoinked the cord. We're on chapter three, or part three of YouTube Let's Play. We're level nine. Uh-oh. More monsters are surprised if you... did say they were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? That's not very nice. There's just no pleasing some people. It was a valiant effort, Fidget. Well, where's my map say I need to go? I don't know where my map says I need to go. Can I actually go up from here? Oh, I kind of want—I kind of want to see what's what's going on up there, you know. A yuck version of Booba. Is that what we need in this world? Oh, now I can see what's going on up here. These are some ugly children. Chinese redeemed, you do not want to spend your points on this. That was nice. Can I continue going up? I find this game a little bit harder to try to dodge enemies at times. Like those big guys. Like you ain't dodging them. Just you gotta fight them again. My next level up, I think I need to upgrade Fidget. Hers very sexy. Thank you. You for sure are talking about me and not silly old yuck. We can't go up. We don't have the right ability. Let's go back. I woke up this morning feeling quite, uh, I guess you could say sexy. I'm glad others saw it as well, you know? <laughs> miss the stream? Bossabot, these people don't miss streams. This is their livelihood. Anywhere else I'd be a ten. Hi, Bird. Sleep by Flower TT Hunt. Hey, what's up, Sea Dog? Thanks for the 16 months of the tier one sub and get some love in the chat for Sea Dog for the 16 months. Meanwhile, far of the north. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but. But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all. What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? Hope you're doing good, Sea Dog. Thank you. Investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe. Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. Our moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Are these the bad guys? Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? Oh, maybe they're looking for us. Maybe they're looking for us, you know? Please, let me know. I'll keep my... Much pre. Did I come across the materials he needed? Oh, he needs like five. I only have one or two. 
You miss streams, but you can watch all the streams on the YouTube Let's Play channel. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. I think Mayor Bram's the true the evil guy. Creature that attacked the village. He was some kind of lizard. Wore strange armor. Called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeflik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally. A tragedy tends to Oh, follow I'm picking it up. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about views, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. Ah! Don't leave town! Only I'm allowed to leave town. What the hell is this? Time warp filter, the greatest thing to spend your channel points on. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. There's a lot of side quests in this Don't game. Worry. I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll Make look for her him. stand. When did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. You gotta stand? Yeah, I gotta stand. It's so look at this fucking loser standing. What a, what a loser. What a loser standing. That cost five keys. That all that gave me was a cinnamon roll and a teleport stone. I guess the teleport stone would come in handy. I have the best selection you'll ever find in this store. Uh, they do have a lot of health items. Kimbop. A warm pretzel? Oh, hot cocoa! A hot dog, I'll buy some of that! Serve me up some of that. One attack, one defense, two attack, two luck. Two attack, four defense. Ooh, wait, if we can sell some stuff? Wait, I already have a simple pendant. Shoot, I'm gonna put that on. Who plays video games standing? Sometimes you gotta. Oh, dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? 
Joel does. Pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. What a side quest. Standing's good. It's good to stand sometimes when you play video games. You sit down all day anyways. You I might as well get, get, get use those I legs. Anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village. Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. You want to stand in dust? They are very nice. Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Life got you a PSVR 2. Hey Gatorade, trying to get used to standing. What game are you playing first on PSVR 2? Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger. Slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, Ben, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the I want to play Resident Evil 4 VR. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family. What roguelites are on? Uh, he was picking up supplies to bring back. VR. General Gaius attacked her village. Darkest dungeon VR. Whoa. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. I've already played Resident and Evil 7. That? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius' soldiers. Who are you, really? I... I don't have the VR, Catloaf! That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name! You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry. Fidget, please calm down. She's right to be a hey, gamer pro. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers, and that can't be good. Perhaps, but your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that, especially if they knew I was here. Where can I find General Gaius? If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Oh. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village. What's up, Uzi? Not found. Did you get all the achievements? What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! Level up. Oh, baby, we leveled up. Wait a minute. Uh, let's get Fidget leveled up. I'm playing this game because of Marbles on Stream. Shout out to Marbles on Stream winners. Doesn't happen often, but that does happen. And that's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Rowan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. The foot of the Blackmore Mountains? I probably won't remember that, but sure. <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything all right? We travel to Denim. It's been burned to the ground. Oh, what? yeah. This guy. Oh, I forgot about him. No. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust. 
Go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dell starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... Does she break the fourth wall normally? Oh god, now I got this clown following me. Complete on the hardest difficulty achievement. I started Gianni, this game on the hardest difficulty, then I lowered it one more because I was dying in two hits. Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. I decided to make my life easier. Wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. Also, what up, Paul? I suppose you don't have the capacity. How are you doing? Thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. We're getting a lot of XP for just kind of existing. These guys again. Ah, Dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be all right. Just need some time to think is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's not obvious, eh? Hey. Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Oh, and it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. Oh. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Charm, enjoy the emotes! Oh, the main story's right here, apparently. I'll look at Jihan's farm, sure. <laughs> Probably not any monsters here, right? Those monsters really tore the place apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Gian's watch? Hmm, yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Gian and Oneida. <laughs> Or is that all that's here? I don't think I have any. How many of these things do I have? I got a bunch of cinnamon buns. How many keys do I have? Oh, that was it. We'll go back to Gihan's farm then. We'll go down the big scary hole in the ground, even though I don't think I can fully explore it. That almost had it. There we go. Oh. Okay, it's a little bit harder this time to get it. Oh, it's money right now. A lot of chickens. I don't know why there's a bunch of chickens over here, but... Do 
ate so much, but food's delicious in the best part of the day. Don't you know? gotta be kidding me what is this fudge and fudgicles what the heck is this oh the watch is right there though so All we have to do is just do this perfectly and we're good to go. God damn it. I feel like I would really like the Castlevania games despite never playing them. But I feel like I would probably like them. You know, the original ones like Sympathy in the Night and whatnot, but... Definitely not my type of gameplay right here. This part or the whole game of this? Or just this part of the game? Definitely not this. Rest of the game seems reasonable. This part... This wasn't too bad. That was the most annoying one, and I was just missing up one thing, so... That wasn't too bad. I got the watch, so that's good. I did a side quest. Ori... Ori's fun. Everybody likes Ori. You found it. Oh, this is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Well, um, we did save your life, remember? Yes. Well, I meant aside from that. Thank you so much, you two. I have little to offer in return, but here. Take this set of treasure keys. Thank you, Guillen. I'm glad we were able to be of service. <sighs> Having this pocket watch back puts my mind at ease. Thanks, Dust. Yeah, wait, there's... There's a bunch of bunny characters, and then there's just regular bunnies as well. Items removed. How many keys did he give me? Are able to see how many keys I have? I don't know how many I have. All right, let's look at the map. We have to go down somehow. Oh, right down here. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. 
I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um, I certainly hope you're safe. I am not going in there. I should probably go down this path. Let's go, Greg! End of the line. Looks like a pretty nasty drop. Yes, very nasty. We should go around, I think. There's no time to find another route. Those monsters came up through here. There's gotta be a path down below. Gotta be a path well, down below. There's nothing. Oh my. Oh my. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, we need a red gem for that one. <laughs> Move up ahead. I saw something move up. Fidget, you need to calm down. I thought you said you weren't afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the things in the dark. I don't see anything, Fidget. How could you possibly see anything in here with that big hat over your eyes? I hate caves. Our kind isn't meant to be underground. We should be soaring high in the wide open sky. I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, hush. He's afraid of everything. He's like game nerd. Oh, chapter. I was just thinking, when's chapter two? Because we've been on chapter one for a while. Chapter two, darkness. All right, well, we made it to chapter two. Sent a progress pick. Does Twitch chat want to see the progress as well? You guys want to see the th I just accidentally ruined all the audio for a second. My bad. Whoa. Mamacita. pretty fucking good look at that all this money i spent on high quality thumbnails for the let's play channel i gotta use these thumbnails on my main channel as well you know i gotta use them on my main channel i'm so excited for starfield nailed my giant head thank you also speaking of the let's play channel i know the let's play channel is watching this right now the let's play channel has 486 subscribers which means it's 14 subscribers from uh, Partnership on YouTube. We just started uploading the Blasphemous playthrough as well. But if you want to sub to the Let's Play channel, it's 14 subs from Partnership. And it's 514 subs from making money from ads. Which is pretty cool. Money from ads is the big one that I want. But uh, the first Partnership is kind of cool. I should probably update the command to link the Blasphemous playthrough. Because Blasphemous is now the... There's no sound. Where did the sound go? When was the last time I saved? When was the last time I saved? Does anybody know? There's save nearby. There's no sound because I accidentally deleted it somehow. Don't know how. Okay. Right before we drop down here, we'll just exit the game and restart. We'll exit the game and restart. Apparently, I have nine achievements in this game. Good job, me. Let's make sure audio works on like a YouTube video just in case. Uh, this. All right, audio works. A weird bug. You yucked up the stream. Now that was my fault. I think I yanked it. Ah, my cords are very sensitive. If you yoink it too hard, all the audio goes bye bye. We'll just redo. We'll just redo that. 
end of the line. We will skip all this because we already know we're on chapter two. Uh, but yeah, we're about two and a half hours into this game. How are you guys liking it? If you've never seen this game, or you probably are very think I'm a fear of furry, but I'm not. I'm not. I don't see any. You hate video games. No, you don't. Did anyone want to see the Microsoft Studios for his logo for a second? Chapter 2, Darkness. My name's not Bear. Who the hell is Bear? You can never get through it and you remember why? Don't worry, Game Nerd. I'll get through it for us. So then you don't have to play through it because you're like, Oh, I know what happens now because I've seen it. Thanks to Burr. Just like Fire Emblem Engage. It's getting really hard to see. I'm starting to regret coming down here. I was regretting it minutes ago. Well, this title, is, this chapter is called Darkness, so there's a treasure nearby, apparently. I'm missing a lot of treasures, though, to be fair. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Do you think the villagers know about this place? I hope not. Our search has not been in vain. Let's clear this area. You played Engage? Did you like me playing it? That could be the game of the year on the Burr channel. What would I put on Game of the Year so far? If the Burr Awards were happening today, granted we do the Burr Awards again. I feel like some people do want to see the Burr Awards again, of course. Game of the Year is usually reserved for the big AAA games we play. Metroid Prime Remaster, Resident Evil 4, not Redfall. Dead Space Remake? That could be up there. That was a good game as well. Wind Shatter of the Year. Please, Shatter of the Year. That's Fossabot. They've advertised that Let's Play channel so much. Cat ain't advertising the Let's Play channel. I don't have anything else. I have a bunch of blueprints, but that doesn't really mean anything. Anything here? Oh, those are just items. Armor! 12 defense! Oh, baby, gimme, gimme. That's definitely better than what I'm wearing now. Give me that defense. Give me a piece of that Kit Kat bar! Look at Fossabot! Look at that! Look at that! Fossabot's insane! I didn't need to eat there, but whatever. Just be my brain shut off for a second. Resident Evil, Metroid Prime. What other new games have come out this year that I've played? I didn't play Tears of the Kingdom. Blasphemous goes on the indie section of... The indie game of the year. Along with Dave the Diving Man. I did play FF14, FF16. We could probably put it up there. I didn't finish it, though. But it was still very good. Uh, 
Very good game. I did not play FF14. No, never. Never will. Not my type of game. Now, did I play any other new games this year? So I just said, though. Yeah, Phoenix, I misspoke. Sorry, we're not all perfect like you. Jesus Christ. I'll have you know I've never misspoken a word in my life because I am absolute perfection. I am Phoenix underscore underscore. And am I level? I'm level 10 right now in this game. Dust, wait. This creature is too well defended for a straightforward assault. Oh shit. We'll see about that. <sighs> oh, okay, that was a bad idea. It is practically invulnerable unless you stun it with a parry, like so. He went down! Dust, would you like a refresher on parrying? Oh. Very well. <laughs> I hate parrying in games. <laughs> I playing Silent Hill 2? That game coming out? I thought A1 was always memeing about that game. Sure, but it sure did run off in a hurry. Starfield will be game of the year. I will not fall victim to Nintendo simpage. Oh wait, speaking of Nintendo, there's a Mario Bros. Wonder Direct. Um... Shoot, when is that Mario Bros. Wonder Direct? There's a Mario Bros. Wonder Direct at some point. I don't remember when. But I saw it on Twitter. A health upgraded. I will play Silent Hill 2 Remake Day 1 100%. A1, you like Silent Hill? I don't know. Your bets are on Redfall being game of the year? Yeah, maybe flop of the year. Gotta bring back the flop of the year category that's filled with Redfall and Atomic Heart so far. Meme of the year is just Redfall's existence. Just the existence of Redfall is a meme in this stream. Gollum? Well, I didn't play Gollum. Isn't there a RoboCop game coming out in, uh, what is it? October? Or November? Oh, defense, dang. If I craft that. Wait, can I just craft it here? Oh, no, I can't. Sixty-nine defense. Nice. Nice. A couple indie games that I've been keeping my eye on are getting uh, a release date this week, with packs with uh, Gunbrella and Wizard with a Gun. If any of you guys are looking forward to those games, they are getting a release date, finally. So I'm excited for those. I hope it is not too long of a wait, but I kind of do hope it is because there's so many games. I hope that those release dates line up perfectly with all the other games that I need, that I need and want to play.
How do I swap uh, abilities again with Pidget? I cannot remember. Oh, it's RB. Okay. LB's heal, RB's swap abilities with Pidget. Opium. You know, in my luck, it's going to release the same. One of them's going to release the same day as, like, Cyberpunk DLC. slowly drains down to nothing if you don't take care of it soon death is inevitable i can prob stop pretending probably shouldn't use those all nilly willy jesus christ Follow him. He dropped a little mushroom for me, just in case I got poisoned. What a nice guy. I don't think this is the right way to go, but... I think this connects us back to where we were. All right, these guys die very easy, which is nice. I have to be careful, I only have three more floor chickens. people that don't know you know how yesterday we were playing blasphemous well guess who got all the achievements just in case you don't pay attention to discord i post whenever i get all the achievements in the gaming section because the gaming section is like my home guess who got all the achievements in blasphemous 2 last night yeah 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 you can guess it it wasn't a1 definitely wasn't a1 it's a1 no that's not you it was me was it you? And it wasn't... No, it, it wasn't Game Nerd. It wasn't A1. It wasn't you, la la la. It was... Maybe Danny DeVito got it. I, I'm not sure. I'm not friends with Danny DeVito on Steam. So I can't really judge. But it was me that got them all. I got all the achievements. We don't care about you. What? You don't care about me? My mom says I'm cool. This man didn't even get all the achievements and gave the diver. Blasphemous was a lot easier to get all the achievements because I already had 94% of the game complete When I finished it, so it was kind of easy to go back and get them all I almost have all the achievements in Exo Primal. Don't give me that crap. I got one more achievement in Exo Primal to get It's not my fault. It's taken forever because I've been busy. I don't have time to play Exo Primal Nap for Miss Blasphemous was fantastic That was a great game. Talking yeah. shit on Blasphemous? We got the club going up on a Tuesday? The girl in the big seat shoes. A club going up, going up on a Tuesday. 
Got the girl in the men's sheet Tuesday club. Wait, today's Tuesday. Guys, is the club going up? No! Go away! Oh, sweet, more items. There he goes. Forget him. Take a look around. There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms. These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. They are called bubble sprouts, and it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. They react rather explosively to movement. Of course they do. One, everything does in this game. Does everything just kind of explode in this game? Momo copy an A1? You're telling me this chat would copy each other? No way. What does this look like? Fifth grade? Fifth grade math? Okay, so the they can heal you. Holy shit. Accidentally moved back. You guys like the song Summertime Sadness by Lana Del Rey? I like to think that song's kind of a banger. Summertime's almost over though, thank freaking god. We've almost made it to fall. Kiss me up before you go. Summertime sadness. We have sub 20 Celsius. It's like 30 Celsius here today. It's horrible. It's hot in this room today as well, which stinks because I need to work on a YouTube video that I'm trying to get done. Definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust, or this battle will be over before it begins. I'm poisoned. That was annoying. The flashing was hurt. There he goes oh. again. You're welcome, kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him and maybe get out of this raining death. I keep healing by accident. Let me pull up my cinnamon rolls. Cutscene! Everybody get your notes out! Oh, there's sheep here. Mud pot. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. Oh, yes. Let's just break into somebody's house. Sure. Why not? There he is. You are far 
father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? Ah, Mama, look! Those things must have followed me! How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers! She does see that I can fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. They're so tiny. Back, back, you beast! I got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, Bobo? Well, they have been following me for a while. That's a little creepy. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm sorry. We just came down from <gasps> the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. Hey, Kona. I'm sorry to hear that. That Kona Actually, has a yuck above it. What I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Bopo! You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again! Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help! Stop saying that! How's gonna die if we don't do something? Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water. But just a few weeks ago... They dried up to nothing. What a bad time to get sick. Still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that. I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too. Mama. I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up, but every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. A lady! The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. Katara? She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks? So, you're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. Bopo. So, I think the best character in this game might be Bopo. Let's sit down now. This chat is filled with nothing but nasties, I tell you. Nothing but nasties. All y'all make fun of children in your free time? What the hell's the matter with you? Where the hell's she going? Is she coming with us? Oh, it's a pretty kitty cat. 
What? Me? <gasps> it's a flying cat! <sighs> <sighs> she's not a cat, little girl. She's a... Oh, I don't even know what she is. She's a fidget spinner. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Fidget. Maybe we've met? Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something. It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, uh, what's your name? Stupid Smoa. children, <laughs> right? Well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Oh, I want her. She talks. I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Hey, Dust, look. That must be Reed's box. Ooh. Hmm. Tell you what. Next time oh. we go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Reed's then box. We'll trade. Phew. Good idea, Dust. I forgot about you that dude's box. Shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah, maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! As Michael Jordan would say, fuck them kids. Damn! Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> we need a redstone for that. big fella am i hearing the local gossip right you and your flying mongoose are gonna save her village what the heck is a mongoose quiet fidget and yes you've heard correctly is this the way to the ladies chamber <laughs> well yeah but i don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall we had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village can i get this little dash what the heck is a nematode Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thoughts, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance chair. Oh, that was easy. It'll open up the basement and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spiky rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hitting stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blop. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. Well, we got the gem, so that's really what matters. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder. It's the Oscar award worthy writing that made this game a standout for you. Yeah, I can tell. This writing sure does say- oh. This writing is sure something else. Dude, those cinnamon rolls only heal me for a hundred. I have 440 health. I do have a lot of money, so I should probably buy stuff in a shop. I forgot that the right stick also made you dash. We're about to get a new ability. I just know it. It's not any worse than Fire Emblem. You like this more than Fire Emblem game, nerd? What's up, Witch Queen? How are you doing? 
I don't mind Fidget. She's got some... Fidget's got some funny little one-liners. Wait, did you just... Hmm? Did you just put that thing in your inventory? Yeah, what? Okay then. Game Nerd loves everything over Fire Emblem, so... You're tired physically? Well, hopefully you can get a good night of sleep in tonight then. I'm gonna be tired physically. I got a big run at the gym today. Big run at the gym. Oh my god. I'll be honest, I'm surprised I was able to beat Fire Emblem Engage. I don't know what was going on with my brain that week, but good job, my brain, for letting me play Fire Emblem Engage fully. Oh, wait, I was doing a subathon. I was getting a lot of money, that's why. Questioning your life choices? I would never stream Three Houses. Too long of a game for me. I'm sorry. There's that slide ability. That's what I need. There we go. Oh, perfect. Never drink and go game shopping. Don't intend on it. I think there was something else over here I could have got, right? Finally got the damn slide, though. Box. A lot of pretzels. Got some notes added. Money is the solution to everything. I agree. Like, I don't want a lot of money, but you know, I wouldn't complain about having more money. Which is why I'm pushing for that 70-30 split. Ayo! Exclamation mark 350! It's a command. Push me as before you go. Summer's time sadness. I just wanted you to know that, baby, you're the best. Oh, thanks. Wait, I want that. I want that chest. I have a bad case of if I see an item, I need it. and say we need four keys. I only have three keys! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna remember to come back here ever, so that's unfortunate. I shouldn't have opened that other damn one that cost four damn keys. Oh my god. How many pretzels do I got? I got 11 pretzels. I'll use these, though. Ooh. 
I do not like this area, man. Have I tried jumping over the spikes? Motherfucker, yes I have tried jumping over the spikes. Thank you very much. Oh, that's the hidden stick. I can't believe I actually got his hidden stick. What a convenient little shopkeeper. No choice. He'd lost his minds, murdered many innocents. I am not judging, friend. His death was sad, but necessary. Forgive me for asking, but are you a Moonblood? The Moonbloods. They are an ancient race, and their presence is not tolerated in these lands. There is a lot. The side quest, yeah. though. Disadvantage. Let me read this. I understand. The side quests are very easy, though. My friend. Very natural to get. Uh, the matter if you do not. Uh, all right. Got anything good here? 60 attack, 40 defense, 8 luck. Yeah, I'll buy that. I'll switch to sell mode and start selling some stuff. Currently have this equipped. Doesn't have anything better. Dude, he's got a glizzy! Thank you for the 20 glizzies. Glizzy overdrive. <laughs> uh probably maybe another hour or so, la la la. Maybe end now. I do need to work on a YouTube video. Your transaction is most important. Glizzy Overdrive. <laughs> oh, we are entering gl Glizzy mode. Oh, baby, Glizzy mode. <laughs> Drift strength, 7%. I saw that shit on Twitter, man. I was losing my damn mind. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. That girl made bank. That was a dude I was imitating. That dude probably made bank. He got 100 glizzies. Entering Glizzy Overdrive, 7% girth strength on the Glizzy. Stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, 100 bits, we can go in the Glizzy Overdrive. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, mistake. You found her. Now I can get back at that good for nothing trolk that done busted up my leg. Whoa, hang on, Blop. You'd better not pick any fights in your, uh, condition. Boy, this is a matter of honor and revenge and hitting things with sticks. Tell you what, I'll beat up some trolls for you. Bring me their devilish little fingers. Four of them. No, 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 40. No, 400. My broken leg demands justice. 
How about I gather four Trolk fingers, just for you? Sound good? Ah, now that's my boy! We'll make this YouTube video Let's Play a little bit longer. And then we'll go for the day. Maybe get, maybe get chapter two done. We'll see. We'll see how long it is. Oh, we entered Glizzy Overdrive. Need more bullets? What's up, bullet? Dude, I, I, I still just can't comprehend how much money NPC streamers make. Because I don't know how much a Glizzy is worth. How much is a Glizzy on TikTok? This dude got like 170 Glizzies. Is that a lot of Glizzies? Does anybody know Glizzy to... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, the poison's gone. That's Glizzy Overdrive. I've ever seen one. I don't- I don't know how TikTok Live works with their anything, to be honest. I don't understand how TikTok Live works. They have, like, a billion different currencies. And it's just... Like, I've seen one video on TikTok of this dude going into Glizzy Overdrive. Because he got 100 Glizzies! Thank you for the Glizzies! Entering Glizzy Overdrive! 7% like Girth Strike! Or something, I don't even know, man. I go to Burger Overdrive every time there's two gifted subs? Sure. Sure. I'll buy eight of these. Transaction. Two gifted subs. We are going into Bergy Overdrive. Um nom 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 Glizzy Overdrive. This conversation means you're not hip on the Tiki Talk. There's a video in Clips Momo posted on TikTok's Clips. Do you know what NPC streams are, Chibi? I'll, I'll educate you right now. I've been I've been taught. I, it took me a little bit to learn, but I know now what they are. They're free money. I can educate you on the Glizzy Overdrive. Thank you, A1, for the two gifted subs. Burger Overdrive initiated. NP stream. How, how would you guys describe NPC streams? So basically, people on TikTok go live. I feel like my camera's lagging. Well, good. People on TikTok go live, basically, and they act like NPCs. I don't really know what the exact thing is. But they just go like, yes, yes, mmm, so good, delicious, mmm, yummy, ice cream, so good, num, 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 num. So basically, it's one of those type of streams, and they just make so much money. People give them money, and say, have, they say something, then they say it right back. And then this random dude is doing a TikTok live as an NPC streamer. And he got a hundred glizzies, which I think is like money. I don't know what the currency for glizzies is, but... He's like, a hundred glizzies. We are so entering many. glizzy now overdrive. And then just goes. Things. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure what a glizzy is on TikTok currency, but it's basically NPC streamers make a bunch of money. La la la. Thank you for the hundred bits. 
And it's really... I, I, I think it's so stupid. Please watch the video on clips. Fine, we'll ruin everybody's life. I have to download this freaking video for you. Oh my god, I'm downloading Glizzy Overdrive. Oh my god, the CRA. The government's watching me. I just downloaded Glizzy Overdrive for you, Momo. Think of the ice cream. Ice cream, so good. Think of the ice cream. Think of the heart me. I heart you too. Think of the glizzies. <laughs> One hundred glizzies and drink glizzy overdrive. This is an NPC stream. Increasing grip by seven percent. We are locked in. Thank you for over one hundred and sixty glizzies and drink glizzy overdrive. <laughs> People really spend money on that? People spend a lot of money. These NPC streamers can make apparently $10,000 in a stream. That's what I've heard. I'm not 100% sure. People could just be throwing numbers out there, but... Those, those type of streamers make a lot of money. And, you know, get the bag, dude. Get the bag. I don't see myself ever doing those type of streams because I, uh, I just, I just like playing video games, but. <laughs> then you, you have a soccer game and your dad's the glit. You, you see your dad's at the soccer game and then your team's like, yo, you're the glizzy overdrive guy. Yo, do we got a hundred glizzies? It's so weird. People spend their money on the weirdest things. Is that ironic, though? I thought it was a real NPC stream. I don't know, either way. That was not a pleasant sound. That sounded like my ass after Mexican food. Why that key so damn much money? Your transaction. He was making fun of NPC streams and he probably made a shit ton of money making fun of NPC streams. Sounds like a Discord art soundboard. That was the game. I promise that wasn't my ass. Oh, they're up here. I think maybe it's the well that we're trying. We're trying to get the water back. So maybe it's just like dirty water. Man, I didn't have to do Boston like that. That should understand that reference. All the fucking Red Sox make stuff I make her watch. Dude, the Red Sox are having a pretty good year, but the goddamn AL East is just so damn stacked right now. And that's all the sports talk I'm gonna say. Goddamn AL East is just so freaking stacked. Ow.
Now bugs, yep, some giant spiders. But what's worse? Next they're gonna send us in the glissy overdrive. I feel like if glizzies were the main currency on Twitch and not bits, I feel like I'd be making a lot more money. How many September subathons are going to have NPC stream as an incentive? Probably too many. Don't worry, you guys. I will not be doing a subathon. I know what you're thinking. You're not going to be doing a subathon? I promise you, I'm not doing a subathon. Oh my fucking god. Double on my trip to PAX. I'm not going to PAX. PAX is literally like right now. You, I was worried. You were worried I was doing one? They're right. Mother fucker. I'm not enjoying this area at all. Are y'all still alive? I should probably upgrade Fidget a little bit more. I love it when the enemies are just like this. It's just a line of enemies for me to kill. Is this where we want to be going? technically want to be going up but there's a treasure chest up there what if it has a glizzy when did hot dogs become glizzies have they always been glizzies uh did have a ring Regen? What was my defense by four? I can't craft it. 
I want to go to Ikea so bad. Yo, green wants a glizzy. A grizzy. That just sounds weird. Oh, I know. Ikea doesn't sell hot dogs, do they? That's Costco. I'm thinking of Costco. We learned about the term from Fall Guys. Does Fall Guys call them glizzies? Is Fall Guys still alive? Be honest. Do you think Fall Guys is alive? Or do you think Fall Guys is kind of, you know... I feel like it's good to sell everything. You got anything better for me? Actually, no, I'm not done with you. Look at the glizzies. All guys is doing their crossover thing with FF14 right now, so I guess it's not going well. Hey, that's a pretty big name though, FF14. Ooh. Who are you? I am Dust, and this is Fidget. We came from Mudpot seeking the one they call the Lady. Their springs have dried up, and I'm here to find out why. You would dare enter my domain and question me. Yes, the waters have stopped flowing. I was the one to stop them. Be careful, Dust. I do not believe she's used to being spoken to so casually. I meant no disrespect. Uh... I am Lady Tethys, and you will refer to me as such, with the courtesy reserved for all powerful beings of the realm. Okay, Dust, maybe you should dial it back a bit. She's getting pretty ticked off. Lady Tethys. The mud pots need your help. One of them is already close to death, but your healing waters could save his life. You, a surface dweller, would dare to question my actions. Who do you think you are, ordering me to release the waters of life? I would question the motives of any creature, deity or not, that would let their subjects perish without reason. I have found is this the second boss? Does my waters end? flow through your land, surface dweller. I see this water satisfying the thirst of a creature much like yourself. A killer with a broken soul. A creature like me? You mean... He leads a great army across these lands, spilling innocent blood, and using my waters to give life to his campaign of hatred. I stopped the water. So I could stop the violence. But you are punishing innocents and guilty alike. Your own followers in Mudpot will die without that water. If their deaths are required to save this world, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. You speak in petty terms. A person, a family, a village. Their deaths, same as yours, are insignificant to the greater good. That's not very smart. Sense a terrible danger, Dust. Prepare yourself. Thanks, Sword. I have seen where your path ends, Lady Tethys, and I will not let you succumb to the same fate. Too many innocents have died already thanks to Guy's campaign. Boss fight. So be it, Surface Dweller. If you would raise your sword against me, then prepare to have your accursed soul ripped from your body and purged in these holy waters. Just bought Starfield AMA. Did you buy the... Did you buy the deluxe edition to play it four days early?
Yes. Me too! I got an achievement. It popped up this time. What? What have you done? Now some sense into you, I hope. I can feel the darkness slipping from her soul dust. We have done it. She is now safe. Are you all right, Lady Tethys? What is this darkness Ara speaks of? I saw what your general was doing. I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I have succumbed to that darkness. That desire for justice, no matter the cost. Justice must be tempered with mercy, Lady Tethys. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. I must apologize, Dust. I see now that you wield one of the brains of Elysium. Had I noticed before, I would have treated you with more respect. Blades of Elysium? I will explain later. We have other, more pressing matters at hand. I know you feel like you are doing the right thing by holding back the waters, but Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Oh, the waters, yes! I only hope it's not too late. Indeed. Though your motives are noble, I fear it did little to stop General Gaius in his campaign on the surface. Already I can feel his army's footsteps. They travel north, into the mountains. Then we gotta hurry. Ginger was on her way there too. Before you go, perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named Cain. He knew your general. And if you help him, he will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius's campaign. And how do you know all that? Because I am attuned to the life thread, my dear. I can sense all life through the waters I send to the surface. Now, more than ever, I can feel the despair that all surface dwellers feel because of your general's hatred. He is not my general. Perhaps not now. But I can see you were once very close to this General Gaius. You can see into my past? Your soul is fragmented, like a shattered mirror. I can only see reflections in the broken pieces. She's got a dent in her head. And what I see makes little sense, even to me. Hmm. There are powerful forces at work within the dust. How a little creature could carry such a shattered soul is beyond my understanding. However, that doesn't matter now. She's right, Ghost. If we're going to speak to this Baron guy, we need to get moving. Apologies, Lady Tethys, but we must make haste. There is a villager in Mudpot who is very close to death. I can feel it now. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? What have I done? With no time to waste, is there a shortcut back to Mudpot? Yes, of course. Right through here. Though I fear you may already be too late. He's dead! We'll get there in time. Just you wait and see. I hope so, Fidget. Goodbye, Lady Tethys. Goodbye, Dust. And good luck. Fidget has acquired a new projectile type. Oh! Ooh! Does this take me? Oh, it takes me back. Very loud, but, you know. Is he dead, Jim? The devil? What the fuck? We need this. Hey, look! Sunlight! Fancy 
that. A final parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now, we should find Bopo. Lady Tethys seems convinced we would arrive too late. We'll get there in time. We have to. We did everything we were supposed to. You have much to learn about the world, Fidget. Sometimes even your best is not enough to avert fate. Come, let us make haste to the village. Ain't that a mood? Isn't that a depressing mood? I supposed to go down for the village, I think? I think I was supposed to go down. You got a talking sword? Yes! The sword helps us quite a bit. Oh, we I'm going the completely wrong way. Oh, we made it. Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. I stand out that much, huh? Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you. And it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat! We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, the endless, endless gloom. That's endless forever. I'm sorry. Look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop, and my husband Gappy is up there in the pen minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. The I sword is, uh, the sword seems to be good. Moss, if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave mud pond. So many side quests in it's this no game. no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. That would have been good to have. That would have been pretty good to have, I feel. Get HP up to 600. Well, how does anyone know what time? I hear the two of you are helping out. Excuse me, my friend. Did you lose? Actually, I did. I'm afraid so. I know he's I'll losing sheep. Well, thank you. If you can. How many do I need? You can find Six. I found four of his sheep. <laughs> oh, they're on this side of town. Oh. That's five of his sheep. If you can find Oh, I found five of his sheep. Get Didn't want to fall that much. Hey Zaz, the new game is going good. Pretty, it's a cute little game. It's not as hard as Blasphemous, but it is good fun. Dust, look! The water's running! You did it! We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in Hope you're doing good, Zaz. Oh, look, here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. It's a cute little game. Bobo, darling. Please come inside. Mama? Oh, no. What is it, Mama? Oh, this is sad. He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? Oh, no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... It was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. That's terrifying. We got the water running. 
We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Pa, did you hear? I got the water running. Pa! Pa! Master, let's give them a moment alone. Well, that's very sad. I hope there's like an alternate way that you can actually like save him, but... We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. We're having the saddest moment in the game with this man passing. His family's in shambles and cats just... These fuckers are supposed to look like Neopets? That every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test. What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? This is the downfall, stop I guess. Yelling. Just please, please stop. Just the halfway point. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to. And stop worrying about who you are. You're dust. You hear me? I don't care who you were. I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy. Because you're dust now. Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Is that the guy that does Jacob Snell's voice off Ozark? Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mudpot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think the dad's supposed to die. I think so, too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back, though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm. I promise. Are you okay, Bo? It just doesn't... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life, he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. That's life. Not unless I help him. Dust, do you think somehow you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Bopo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. 
Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much. Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. All right. Now we need to find a save point. Which I think there's one up on the surface. What a sad little moment. Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. Hey Nova, it's a good game. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great. Their name is Fidget great. if you want to look them up. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. There you Come go. On. Let's get back to the surface. Let us get back to the surface. A new region has been revealed. That's good. Got a little save right there. YouTube, like, and subscribe.